Hey everybody, Foo Fighter 288 here, or Whiskey Boy 288 if you follow me on Twitch, or Eric Seidel if you follow me on Hub Pages. Which, by the way, you really should follow me on Hub Pages because I've got some pretty useful articles. I'm gonna post the links of most of them in the description below. Uh, in this video, you're probably wondering what the hell are you doing playing Red Dead Online? I thought you said the single player was much better, and it is. It really is. It's a much better constructed game, and Red Dead Online, in my opinion, is just kind of an afterthought. But if you're like me, you probably thought, hey, you know what? I'm just going to play the story missions. I'm not going to mess around with any of the game modes or do anything. I'm just going to do the story missions to try them out and then go back to single player. Well, there is a problem with that, if you haven't already noticed, which is probably why you're watching this video. You get to a certain point, like, say, 69% giggity of the story or 75% of the story and suddenly the little yellow markers stop popping up on the map and you're like well how do I how do I get that to hat well don't worry we've all been there I've been there and here's how you fix it okay what you do is you pause the game go down to online and then there will be a little thing that says a land of opportunities select that and click on it and then just let the game load and then when you load back into a new session you'll have the little yellow marker pop up on the screen as well as a wagon apparently well i mean results may vary i mean i don't i don't know what the hell i don't know what the hell i spawned into i don't know what any of this is but anyway in all seriousness go to a land of opportunities and then the mission marker will be on your map now look i already know what you're about to go i know i already know what you're thinking i already know it you're you're going to be like ow oh, i said that it doesn't work you're a clickbaiter First of all, save your angst for your father and for when you lose your Fortnite battle or whatever, okay? Don't bring that into my comment section. It's, this is not the whole video, all right? Give, give me a second to explain. What you have to do is bring your honor down to the red. When you see that little, you know, you press down on the D-pad and you'll see, you know, your honor bar at the bottom of the screen. Well, as you can see here in the video, I have mine all the way down to like the 25% mark in the red. Uh, there's several ways to lower your honor. Uh, one of them, the quickest, I guess, would be to go to Old Man Jones, who's in Roanoke, and there's another location over in West Elizabeth, and uh, you can pay him three gold bars to, like, just instantly change your honor. Just keep in mind, it's gold bars, you know, that's, like, premium currency. That's not, you don't have to do that. The way I did it was by going down to St. Denis, and there's a little spot where I took cover in, and I just basically just shot everything that moved. Civilians, cops, all that, until my honor got all the way down, and I got a giant bounty on my head. But uh, that was a good way of lowering the honor. Uh, the location I'm talking about is right across the street from where the fence is, you know, that little market place. I got a link in the description below to an article I wrote over on Hub Pages on how to do the uh, bandit challenges and single player and there's like a method to getting that one challenge where you have to get a huge bounty. Well, I pretty much used that method to lower my honor. Just make sure you bring a lot of shotgun and repeater and revolver ammo with you. It'll take about maybe 15 minutes to a half hour, depending on you know, the spawn rates of the uh, lawmen and the police and everything. But uh, you'll be able to lower your honor pretty easy. But if shooting pigs isn't your thing, there's other livestock you can shoot as well. It'll get you that little uh, slaughter dishonor bonus. You can also kill people, which will get you the murder dishonor bonus. And when you loot their corpses, you'll get the looting dishonor bonus. Pretty much killing any domestic at... Mm. Well, use your discretion. But basically, killing pretty much any domestic animal will get you a low honor. Plus, uh, stealing horses, stealing wagons, looting dead corpses, and all that, and everything else I mentioned. Basically, just be an asshole. But, here's my public service announcement for the night. Don't be an asshole in real life. Save it for the game, okay? Trying to get your honor down to asshole levels is what you need to do. Plus doing the pausing the game, going to online, and then selecting a land of opportunities. So I hope you found this video helpful. I put a lot of work into it. A lot of trial and error, too. I would really appreciate it if you guys would like, share, and subscribe. Well, actually, mostly share, because I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there that are have friends that are having trouble getting the missions to spawn, so please, share this video with them. But, more importantly, please subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. And uh, thank you very much. Have a good day. Stay safe and enjoy the game.